Good. So number one, listen to me. Don't write this down. This is not a principle. Listen quickly. I'll give you the first principle. Number one, this is not the principle. It's going to be a dog fight. I would love to tell you that on the road to success, everything is going to work out. It's not. It's going to be a dog fight. It's going to be a dog fight. For those of you watching my videos, on the road to success, I lost five aunts to cancer. It's a dog fight. In the midst of my business, I lost aunts. I had to go to funerals. We had to get on a plane. We had to drive. We had aunts that are close to my age who died, who didn't have insurance. We had to raise money. A dog fight. I had cousins shot in stores, execution style, shot back in the, back in the head twice. It's a dog fight. Like you don't see that on YouTube. You don't see that on my TGI. It's a dog fight. My wife, three years ago, seven legions found on her brain. It's a dog fight. It hadn't been easy. It's a dog fight. It hadn't been, the road hadn't been success. Like it's just a paved road and like each he go this way. It's been rough. It's been crooked. It's been hard. But I've made up in my mind that I will get a reward for the pain that I go through. I will not stop in the middle of the process. I will not be defeated. I will not be destroyed. I will take everything that happens in my life and I will allow the pain to push me to greatness. You will not break me. You will not stop me. You will not defeat me. The only way I lose is if I quit. It's going to be a dog fight. And so if you're ready to quit, then don't get started. If you're ready to quit, don't get started. If you're looking for this easy path, don't get started. If you think they're not going to close the door on you and say no a million times, don't get started. But every time they close the door, I just get excited. Why? Because I am not a no. I'm one yes away. I'm young, I'm one yes away. You can't keep telling me no forever. You can't keep denying me forever. This type of energy, this type of passion. You can't stop it. You can contain it for a while, but you cannot stop. This is life. And you can't defeat me. There, there is not, you don't have enough power. You don't have enough energy. You don't have enough strength to stop this. Contain it for a year, you might. Two years, you might. You do not have hate, does not have enough energy to destroy love. You cannot destroy this. And so I'm telling you today, it's going to be a dog fight. And the sooner you realize it's going to be a dog fight. Okay, so let me let me just say this to you. So so in, in America, right, and I'm sure it's the same thing here, but they're, they're in our armed forces. Let's just pick one, the Navy, for instance. We just pick the Navy. Right? Well, let me tell you guys, this is, this is good. Listen to me very closely. The first thing they teach you, somebody, somebody over here, help me out. You are in the Navy, right? You're going, they're teaching you war, right? What's the first thing they teach you? Boot camp, the very first, somebody tell me over here, to take a wild guess. What's the first thing they teach soldiers? Good, courage, okay. This side, discipline. So give me something practical. What's the first practical thing that they would teach you? Say it again. Defending yourself, somebody over here. How to swim, listen to me very closely. The first thing they teach you, the very first thing they teach you is how to respond when you have a jam gun. And number two, how to carry your dead body. That's the first thing they teach you. They don't teach you how to defend yourself. They don't teach you how to swim. The first thing they teach you is when your gun is jammed. The first thing they teach you is a uh, dead body, how to carry a dead body. And somebody tell me, why would they start you there? That's the worst case scenario. That's what you're not prepared for. That's what you're not thinking. You're not thinking when you go out there to defend yourself that your gun is going to jam. You're not, you're not thinking when you go out there that your boy going to get killed and you got to drag. You're not thinking that. So listen to me. It's not, it's not hardships that hurt us. It's not my cousin getting shot twice. It's not my cousin spending 50 years in jail. It's not my aunt dying of cancer. It's not my wife being diagnosed with seven legions on her brain that will break you. What will break most people is you didn't prepare for that. So when you put all your little goals and all your little dreams together, it's not the thing that broke you that broke you. It was you never even thought about the fact that you could be broken. You never, you never prepared. You never, you never prepare for worst case scenario. And the reason why ET is standing here, because I'm prepared for it.
If you know anything about me, I still lay on floors. I still eat chips off the floor. I still do some stuff that to most people is crazy. Like, E.T., why would you do that? Because I'm always prepared that we may not live in that house one day. One day something might happen and we might have to go back to that. And if I have to go back to that, it's not going to break me. And so I present to you a diamond. Most women love them. And most men spend a lot of money on them. I'm going to say it again. Most women love them. And most guys have to work a long time to be able to get a nice one. The thing we covered the most, and for a diamond to be produced, it must first go through extreme heat. Extreme heat. Extreme pressure. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? For a diamond to be produced, it has to go through extreme pressure. Extreme heat. And if that wasn't enough, what makes a diamond a diamond is the cut. So I put, you are put through, if you want to be a diamond, you must go through extreme pressure. If you can't take pressure, then you're not a diamond. After you go through all the pressure you thought you could not handle, and you think it's over, then they turn on the heat. Of all the stuff I've gone through in my life, eating out of trash cans. Sleeping in abandoned buildings. The worst thing that ever happened is when I went to the hospital and they told me my wife had a chronic illness and she might not be able to walk one day. People say, E.T., ask C.J., it never broke me. Why? Because I've been broken so much. I've been defeated so much. I've been disappointed so much in my life that I know what it feels like and I can handle it. It didn't happen to me at 19. It didn't happen to me at 20. It didn't happen to me at 30. It happened to me at 40. After I had been through all the, all the pressure I thought I could go through. Life said, you finished with all the pressure? I said, yeah. I said, let me bring on the heat. And then when I went through the pressure and the heat, y'all, I thought it was over. The creator said, now you ready to get cut? You said you wanted to be great, son. You said you wanted to travel the world. You said you wanted to help people, inspire people. Hey, you gotta be a diamond. But listen to me very closely if you've ever studied the diamond. Once it goes through that type of pressure and it finally becomes a diamond, at that point you can't break it no more. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? Once you get to that point, you cannot be broken anymore. And the only way they can tell if a diamond is a diamond or if it's fake is by a pr applying pressure is how they tell. They were just looking at you think he's just looking at the thing like I looked in the thing. They'll just bring it here. Ah, put it on some glass. Ah, okay, it's real. So I'm being honest with you. I'm not giving you the seven principles to. I'm, I'm trying to tell you the very first thing I want to tell you before we go through the principles. They say it's going to be a dog fight. And if you soft, this ain't that you want to get out now. <laughs> this is where you like, I quit. But if you're willing to say, I'm not going to quit, I guarantee you whatever success you want to have, you're going to have it. All right, so here's number one. I'm, I apologize. It took a long time to get to number one. Number one, Denzel Washington, you must be very intentional and deliberate. You must be very intentional and deliberate. The stuff on that piece of paper is not going to happen by osmosis. You're not going to wake up one day and find a law degree. You're not just going to walk out of your house. Oh, and there it is uh, with my name on it. And I'm a doctor now. It suddenly appeared. It's not going to work like that. If you're married, it's not going to. If you're married, I promise you. I've been married over 26 years. If you're going to have a good relationship, you're going to have to work for it. If you have a business, you're going to have to work for it. If you have a healthy relationship with your children, I made up in my mind that nothing's going to stop us from having a daily relationship. I will do whatever it takes, make whatever adjustments I need to make. So it's going to be a dog fight, but I'm telling you from personal experience, you don't have to start with anything. I'm a living example. You don't have to have anything to get started, not even a daddy. No, I'm being real with you. Not a, not a bank account. Not a name. Not a camera. We didn't have a camera when we first started. Not even business cards. We don't still don't have business cards. 
You say, how are you so successful with our business card? I don't know. We just say, here, take our number down. If you're serious, just here. Here's my number, call me.